Hey guys, so every now and then I see comments from people asking about the outro song in my videos. And uh, I know I posted it in my Discord a while back, but I figured I would just make like an actual video for it as well. Because I know that people, you know, that watch my videos may not necessarily be in the Discord server. But by the way, if you're not, take a look in the description. That's a good place to connect with our community. It's very chill. And, you know, I'm always talking there as well. But uh, with that said, I did want to go ahead and share the music with you and kind of explain to you where that came from so as you can see i have fl studio loaded up here and i actually just remade it because it's very simple it's just these three patterns where it has like uh, just the the bass the little main uh, melody part and then the drums and then there is another layer of guitar as well so in case you're curious here's the song this may sound a little familiar to you guys if you watch my videos and again, this isn't mixed or anything really. Uh, this is literally, you can just load up FL Studio right now and make this very, very easily. So it just loops like that. As you can see, it's very, very simple. I'll even go over the individual layers for you. So here's the first layer. We got this. This is a morphine plugin. It's a lead, it's called Ice Cube. MC. It's an interesting sound. Pretty interesting. But you know, when you make that into some chords, it gives you some interesting sounds, such as this. So that's kind of nice. And then we got the drum layer. That's just a bunch of default uh drums from here it's a lot of 909 shit because i kind of like the sounds of those i'm not like too into drums and stuff so pretty much it's all 909 so you got the 909 kick the snare and these uh two little hi-hats here the only actual mixing i did on this i'm not sure if the in the actual outro if i did more it sounds pretty much the same but the only thing i did was just lower these hi-hats down a little bit as you can see they're a little bit you know these dials are down here but this is, this is pretty much a basic little pattern, except for this like an additional kick at the end. So it gives it that boop boop at the very end, leading into the, uh, the beginning of the loop, all right? And then finally we got the bass, which is another morphine sound. This right here, the Ibanez bass. I'm not actually sure how you say that, but I like saying Ibanez. Uh, but anyways, very simple as well. It's literally just this. Okay, there you go. So now you are equipped if you know what you're doing. Uh, they have like the little, the little musical notes right here so you can see exactly, you know, what notes and octave and everything I'm using for this. So that's that. And then obviously the only thing that's missing now is the guitar which uh, I will do live for you here, and it'll sound pretty much the same. Uh, the initial, or like the actual track that I use has a little bit more, it's like a full song. Uh, and there's like some kind of empty spots where, you know, some would-be vocals would go. So, uh, you know, I never really got around to that. I sort of just abandoned it. I, I've, mel I've messed around with uh, FL Studio and stuff for years and stuff like that, so I never really released anything it's kind of just casual this so this little thing you're seeing right here i sort of just created as a little jam out loop to play guitar over so if you look you know now we'll play it here so this is very simple there's like a lot of fun things you can play over that but what you hear in the outro and what I'll show you here in a sec is pretty much what I ended up sticking with as far as the actual recording. But I pretty much just had this looping for quite a bit and I was just kind of freestyling over it until I kind of stuck with something that I thought sounded nice. So I'll go ahead and show you that part for the guitar. Now I'm not going to show you the guitar notes. You can look at my fingers if you know how to play guitar. It's very easy to dissect. It's only individual notes at a time. So it's not too difficult. I don't think we need a guitar tutorial. I don't think anybody actually really cares. So. Here's the guitar, and then right after I'll throw in the, uh, the full actual audio that is used for my outro. Because I, I don't have the original file for it, 
but as you can see i remade it pretty easily but i do have like not i mean i have the file i just don't have the actual fl studio like project is what i mean so i have the actual mp3 file that's it but yeah i'll go ahead and uh, show you the guitar part with the music and then i'll put that in there so uh, i hope this answered your questions and I don't know, let me know if you want to see more music stuff. I'm not good at this. I like to play a lot of guitar, but nothing I'd ever stream because it's usually just like me treating it like Guitar Hero, playing a lot of copyrighted stuff because I just do that for fun. So I'll go ahead and show you some guitar now. Herblot, if you're watching this, I'm gonna make your life a living hell. We're gonna have a fun time with Herblot. And thank you, please like, subscribe, and I guess see you in the next video.